the alignment of the planets, the unusual meteor showers, a red moon, or eclipses, what awaits you in the sky of 2022 will blow you away. Sit back and relax. Here are the astronomical events that will occur in 2022 and that you shouldn't miss for anything in the world. Tonight, there is a full moon, which is round, beautiful, and bright white. You are admiring it when you suddenly remember that famous night many years ago when you went out and the moon was strangely red. You were too small to ask yourself the question, but now it intrigues you. You are curious to know why the moon was red with copper shades that night. So listen carefully, we'll explain it all to you. The phenomenon of the copper moon or red moon is an optical phenomenon of diffusion and dispersion of the light coming from the sun. This phenomenon occurs especially during lunar eclipses or at any other time of the year when the star is low on the horizon because the light of the sun which illuminates it is filtered when it passes through the terrestrial atmosphere. You would have liked so much to go back a few years and admire this beautiful red moon. You bite your fingers and regret not having given more importance to this event. No need to worry. 2022 has many surprises in store for you, and among them, two total eclipses of the moon. The first one took place in the night of May 15th to 16th, and the second one is scheduled for November 8th. You will be able to admire the moon adorned with beautiful copper shades, since the sun, the earth, and the moon will be perfectly aligned. And a little more for this year, since the full moon of May is also called Flower Moon, in reference to the arrival of spring. This celestial event has been so nicely named the Eclipse of the Flower Moon, and run quickly to note the date of the second eclipse on your agenda. The moon will not wait for you. So you hear about the full moon, red moon, super moon, but you don't know what it is. Would you like a crash course in astronomy? Very well, it won't take long and it will fascinate you too. Follow along with me. The super moon is when the full moon occurs near the perigee, that is, the point of the orbit of a star that is closest to the Earth, and that it appears larger and brighter than in normal times. This phenomenon, scientifically called perigee syzygy, makes the supermoon appear up to 14% larger and 30% brighter than a mini-moon. And in 2022, there are four of them planned in the calendar. The first one was on May 16, 2022. The second one on June 14, 2022. The next one on July 13th and the last one on August 12, 2022. You are going to be spoiled. On the other hand, the moon can sometimes look very big, and as we don't necessarily expect it when it appears, you will certainly get goosebumps during the first fractions of a second, but it is a dazzling sight. Do you understand now why sometimes the moon seems bigger than usual? If I tell you about the June boo tides, you'll probably think that it's a new fashion trend or a great music festival that takes place every year in June. Well, no, you're wrong. It is a festival, but not a musical one. Do you want me to tell you more about it? Then follow me and look through this telescope. Do you see these shooting stars? They are beautiful, aren't they? This is what we call June boot tides. It is a meteor shower that occurs every year between June 26th and July 2nd, offering astronomy lovers a breathtaking spectacle located in the constellation of Boots, which is above the horizon. The number of meteors that you could see will increase according to the level of the point of the beam, that is to say, the moment when it is the highest in the sky. During this period, you might see the June boot tide meteor showers from dusk until 2 a.m. or whenever it rains. And since it rarely rains where you live, I have a feeling you'll have many sleepless nights. But when you think about it, it only happens once a year, and it's really something that will stay in your memory, so don't miss it. You have only seen solar eclipses in videos or movies, and you would love to see them with your own eyes, with your own protective glasses. Your wish is my command, and 2022 seems to answer your wish since it will take place under the spectrum of eclipses. Beware, do not confuse this with lunar eclipses. Solar eclipses occur when the moon moves in front of the sun, creating a total or partial occultation of the sun's image from Earth. Basically, it shadows it. What an irony. This event can occur during the new moon when the moon is between the sun and the earth. Then, the lunar star and the sun are in conjunction with our planet. This year, scientists predict two solar eclipses. The first one took place on April 30th and was visible in the Pacific and South America. As for the second one, it will take place on October 25th, 2022. This eclipse will be particularly visible this time in Russia, but you may also see it since it will extend to Europe and part of Asia. 
If you are in France, you may be able to see a small piece of the sun hidden by the moon. Fingers crossed. In the worst case, you still have the second lunar eclipse, which will take place on November 8th. You've probably already heard about the signs of the zodiac being in opposition according to their position. Well, it's not only about the signs of the zodiac. The planets can be in opposition too. I know you'd like to know a little more about this, so listen carefully. You're in luck. From January to December 2022, several planets in the solar system will be in opposition. By definition, opposition in astronomy is when our Earth is in perfect alignment between the planet and the Sun. It is also the optimal time to observe the planet. Thus, when the Sun sets in the west, the planet rises in the east. For example, Saturn will be observable through the summer of this year during the night and its opposition is scheduled on August 14, 2022. Jupiter, for its part, will be visible to the naked eye in the night sky and will take its place in the row on September 26. The red planet will only join the team and reach opposition on December 8. Let's not forget Neptune, which will be much more difficult to see with the naked eye. The blue planet will take its place on September 16th. Uranus foresees its opposition on November 9th, but will unfortunately not be visible for us enthusiasts. I know that you are looking forward to this opposition of the planets, and I know that it will be hard for you to wait until summer or the end of the year to be able to admire the show. But the most fascinating things are the ones that are most desired. In the meantime, get your equipment ready and get some quality tools to maximize your chances of seeing the planets in opposition. Or know that this year's astronomy program promises some great cosmic viewing nights for amateurs and professionals alike. Now is the time for you to sign up, so be warned. It's December 14th, 2022 in the evening. You are all alone at home and you don't have much to do. Tired of television, the programs are boring. It's too cold to go out. Instead, you want to make a discovery, something exciting, to live an unparalleled experience. All you have to do is ask. I have something for you that is beyond your wish, something that will take your breath away. Go out to your balcony and get yourself a chair, a pair of binoculars, and a good cup of tea. It's going to be a long night. Why? Well, because tonight a geminid meteor shower is expected. It will fall the equivalent of about 150 meteors every hour. These meteors have the particularity to be very bright and to have various colors, white, yellow, red, blue, and green. I let you imagine the picture that it will give on the dark sky of the night. If you live in the northern hemisphere, wait before midnight to start observing the meteors, because the radiant will be placed high in the sky from about 10 p.m. But if you live in the southern hemisphere, you will have to wait until the middle of the night to look for the meteors. Yes, it will be hard to wait alone in the cold, but I assure you it is worth it. So are you thrilled to have found something fun to do tonight? You are passionate about astronomy and you have always dreamed of witnessing shooting stars. It looks like 2022 is your year because the month of May is full of surprises. This month, the conditions will be almost perfect to observe the maximum number of shooting stars from the Eta Aquarids. So, a little before dawn, stand in front of your window and wait for the magic to happen. The first crescent moon will set early and will leave the perfectly dark sky, ideal to see all the shooting stars, even the most difficult ones. If you are lucky, you will be able to observe 10 to 12 shooting stars per hour or even many more if you are in the southern hemisphere. Why am I talking about luck? Well, because you will have to make sure that you are placed in a place where the sky is clear and that nobody guarantees you and it is not one in advance. So go now and plan a trip to a city where there is the least chance of rain so you can witness one of the most dazzling shows of your life. You're reading the latest news in the press and you come across a very interesting article on astronomy. And as you are a fan of everything related to astronomy, you don't hesitate to open it. And there, you are stunned by what you read in the headline. On Sunday, April 17, 2022, an incredible event took place. The four planets, Venus, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter, seemed to get along well that night since they were perfectly aligned in the sky. And they would have been visible to the naked eye in the sky. The article states that Venus, Mars, and Saturn had been visible together since late March and Jupiter joined them. You are so bummed that you missed such an event. But don't worry, I have good news that will make you happy. Astronomers are indeed predicting an alignment of several planets of the solar system, namely Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus from the Earth's perspective. 
an extremely rare phenomenon. So, if you have an old pair of binoculars hidden in a closet, now is the time to get them out. And if you don't have any, buy some because it's worth it. So what do you think about these phenomena? Can't wait to see them? Tell us what you think in the comments and tell us which one you wouldn't want to miss. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss anything of our next contents.